The Temporary Joint Subcommittee presented their findings and recommendations to Council on December 1st. Council continued to discuss the presentation on December 15th. Morgan Poindexter is a PhD student at UC Davis and a data analyst for the Temporary Joint Subcommittee. Davis is a really low crime area and you know we found that there are big racial disparities in who police are choosing to um, stop and search. The nine recommendations aim to accomplish two major goals, decreasing racial disparities and excessive use of force, and improving public safety through the expansion of social services. So the way that we can think about public safety is not to just look at people after they've committed a crime and to sort of punish them for committing a crime, um, but to really look at how we can keep people healthy, happy, um, in stable employment, having housing, all of these things that add up to um, reasons why someone would not need to commit any crimes. On April 6th, the City Council will hear a presentation from City staff. Dylan Horton is the chair of the City of Davis Police Accountability Commission. The, the ball is a little bit is a little bit more squarely in the council's uh, uh, you know sort of side of the court there, um, where they will be receiving a presentation uh, very much awaited uh, um, from city staff about uh, some of the initial steps that the city could take in moving toward fulfilling the nine recommendations. Verbal support from council has left supporters of police reform concerned but cautiously optimistic. We're almost coming up on, you know, a year, um, you know, of the anniversary of, of George Floyd's murder. I do find myself asking sometimes, like, what is substantially different in Davis right now as opposed to a year ago? The, the thing that I'm most proud of in terms of proud of our community is that we haven't allowed ourselves to operate on that short shelf life that police reform issues typically have in the public consciousness. Um, we're here, you know, uh, a couple months shy of a year later with a good amount of the community still engaged. The Davis Police Department was contacted via phone and email but did not respond. For BlueDevilHub.com, this is Emma Carney reporting.